Hey everybody, I'm here to share some information with you today about the pre-approval process and specifically the documentation you need to get a pre-approval for a loan. Now when a lender is evaluating your qualifications to purchase a home, they're looking at four basic things. Your credit, your income, the funds available to complete the transaction, and some basic information about the home you may be considering. Now for those of you who are looking to purchase a home that you plan to live in, and you do not own any other real estate, and you're not self-employed, you really only need four items, four to six in total. Now to begin with, regardless of the loan program you may be going for, everybody has to supply your driver's license and social security cards. Now if you don't have a driver's license, a passport or any other state or government ID will work. Now if you're not a US citizen, you're gonna to need to supply your green card or your work visa to ensure that you can legally work here in the United States. Second, in determining your income, depending on the loan program, a lender can get started with as little as your last two years W-2 forms and your most recent pay stubs covering a 30-day period of time. Now, if you or anyone else on the application is receiving, say, Social Security, a pension, or a permanent disability, the lender is going to need the award letter to verify that income. It's also very important that if you happen to be receiving or paying child support, let your lender know that so that income or additional monthly obligation can be accounted for accordingly. Thirdly, it's important to discuss where the funds are coming from to make the purchase. You'll be asked to supply your last two months bank statements. Now, many applicants may not have the funds in the bank at the time of application. They may be getting a gift from a family member, liquidating an asset, or have a sizable amount of cash in the house that they plan to deposit. It is critically important that you do not make any large cash deposits into your bank account without speaking to your loan officer. All funds being used for the transaction must be sourced, so be sure to have the conversation as to where the money is coming from. Now lastly, your pre-approval is based on your monthly mortgage payment, which is going to include your taxes and insurance at least. So it's important to let your lender know an estimate as to what the taxes are, and also, if they may be in a flood zone, you may need flood insurance. Or it could be a condo or a co-op where you're going to need to handle a maintenance fee or a HOA fee. So all this information is critically important to so your pre-approval is accurate for you. So listen, if, again, if you're a first-time home buyer, it's simple as driver's license, social security card, last two years W-2s, usually your last two pay stubs, and just basic information about the property, and you can be on your way to having yourself pre-approved for a loan of your own. Now again, there are very many loan programs out that, that have more documentation requirements and even less. So speak to your loan professional, speak to me, I'll tell you what you need, and based on your situation, we can get the ball rolling for you and you'll know ahead of time that you're ready to go without any unexpected bumps on the road as you get moving forward. Again, my name is Lou Cirillo with Jet Direct. You know my name, give me a call, 917-763-0007. Have a great one.